we're getting you ready to get started. We're going to count down for 10. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, everybody, we are back in the beautiful city of Canton, maybe town. I don't know. I love Canton, Texas. So here for their annual 4th of July hot dog eating contest. We've been here the last two years. This will be our third year. Um, so basically 10-minute all-you-can-eat hot dog eating contest. They have lots of kind of cool events going on. They have a parade. They also have a watermelon eating contest for kids. And, uh, of course, the hot dog eating contest. So super excited to be here. Super excited to be back. We are officially defending our title i don't know i love this place guys the people are just phenomenal and uh it's sponsored by sonic yes sonic america's drive-in our favorite drive-in so super excited to be back we are in the quest for 500 dollars as the first place prize second is about 250 bucks and uh that's about that so 10 minutes all you can eat hot dogs nathan style so let's go uh get eating that's pretty much it let's have fun eat some food defending champion he set a record at this event last year with 45 hot dogs in 10 minutes. So happy to welcome back Joel Liddell versus Food Hanson. Joel, come on stage. We're getting you ready to get started. We're going to count down for 10. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! We're in the way. We're underway in the 2022 Hot Dog Eating Contest, sponsored by Sonic. Hey everyone, welcome to Zidor. Today we are here in Canton, Texas, here at the annual 4th of July hot dog eating contest. So this is a lovely contest. This is now, I guess, my third year participating. Um, I had participated since the inaugural year in 2020, and I am always excited to go back. Not only for the great contest, not only for the great people, but it's the great city. Like Canton is such a unique place. The people are amazing and I can't go wrong. So this contest is sponsored by Sonic, the drive-in, which is pretty cool. Um, as I'm not gonna lie, it's probably some of the only time I've ever had Sonic. Uh, they are not available in Canada. They're, as far as I know, only in the United States. And I mean, I've been by a couple times, most for some of their drinks they have their great big uh, route 44 drinks like those cups i have on the right hand of the screen um, and they are big and you get some really cool combinations i mean they'll do like vanilla dr pepper they'll do uh, i usually get a diet cherry limeade which is a uh, kind of like cherry flavored sprite it's really really good um, but yeah nonetheless so here we are with their hot dog contest so we have a 10 minute contest um, we have nathan's rules basically what that means 10 minutes all you can eat eat by any means necessary you're allowed to dump uh, you are allowed to then chipmunk after the 10 minutes as long as you clear your mouth in approximately 20 or 30 seconds. So that being said, after the timer stops at the end of 10 minutes, you have 20 or 30 seconds to clear your mouth. Otherwise, you could face a deduction in your number. Same as deductions could be made if there was exuberant amounts of debris, whether it be buns or wieners around you. So there were about six participants, five or six participants in this year's contest, um, featuring my good friend, Mr. Albert, who is uh, on the immediate left right now wearing the hat. Uh, great eater. He is in and around Texas. We always cross a different eating uh, contest, and it's always great to catch up and visit. So uh, the hot dogs, they started us off with, I believe it was generally two trays of 20, um, or at least they did myself. I know they did Albert. Um, so which, you know, you had you finished your first tray, you'd move on to your second tray. So essentially I had 40 dogs in front of me. He had 40 dogs. And the other participants, I'm not sure if they had one or two trays. I had set a record prior, I guess about 45 in 2021. Um, and while, I mean, it would have been nice to try to touch that, I have been having a lot of issues with my side. I haven't been doing the best, so I wasn't sure if I was going to. Seven minutes, guys, seven minutes. We're down to seven minutes. Remaining in the competition, seven minutes. 
health issues aside, definitely wanted to give it my best. Um, what we found about the hot dogs, um, so again, I've been in here uh, now three years. This year, the hot dogs were a little tougher, uh, at least than in 2021, and from what I remember, also 2020, um, being, I think they, you know, whether they were boiled or however they cooked them, they just seemed to maybe have been cooked a little bit longer, perhaps. Uh, they were still, you know, they were still fine. It's not like they were, you know, rocks or anything, but you do notice and that little bit of that difference, that firmness, uh, definitely really makes a big difference, especially when you're trying to eat so many, and you get a bit of a jaw workout. Um, I wasn't the only one to notice this. I asked Albert and a couple other eaters who had done a couple of years and they also thought they were a little tougher this year, but nonetheless, they were still very palatable. Six minutes, guys. Six minutes. And yes, I said palatable, even dunked in water. I mean, hey, whose favorite way to eat a hot dog is not being it, you know, dunked in water? Well, I mean, water is my favorite condiment with hot dogs, obviously, says no one ever. Let me know your favorite hot dog condiment down below. I am definitely a team ketchup. I'm going hashtag ketchup all the way. But like I said, let me know your favorite hot dog condiment down below. It's definitely not water for me, but hey, it's the way you got to do it. It's the quickest way to eat it in a contest, so that's what you got to do. I really can't play too much of the natural audio. They had some copyrighted music playing, but nonetheless, uh, when it came to my actual like performance and uh, of this contest, I was not performing well. My, I usually eat hot dogs once a year, at least I have for the last three years being this contest, and I did horrible. <laughs> I was all over the place. I was not rhythmic with my technique. I couldn't get my, you know, I don't want to say wiener munching. That sounds horrible. You know, I couldn't get my, you know, frank or, you know, eating down in the right tunes uh, with the coordination of dunking the bun. I didn't have uh, enough flavored beverages the way I wanted to. Like I said, I was all over the place. So my technique was absolute not good. And this definitely I knew was going to, let's say, affect me in my final numbers. Um, but that's, you know, just being objective, being constructive. I know next year or any other time I do a hot dog eating contest, I got to tune that in. I got to give it some practice. Doing this uh, once a year is not enough to keep me in tune, that's for sure. <laughs> But overall, I believe that's the majority of the information about the contest I have. Canton, they always have their first Mondays, which is the world's largest flea market, and it is impressive. They sell everything in this town from literally like like on this at these flea markets from let's say you want knives, you want furniture, you want goats. Like you can buy anything and everything you'd ever want at these first Monday. It, like puppies, like it is crazy. So anyway. Canton, I love you. Cool place. It was so good to be back. And at that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's tune on in, see what happens. And uh, that's about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got two minutes left. That means all replays come from the booth and there's no more.
some decked out trucks and vehicles and all that good stuff so definitely a pretty cool evening in the small beautiful town of Canton and that's a cool one right there a big shopping cart This is an armadillo. You can tell you're not in Canada anymore when there's just randomly armadillos out and about. All right, everybody, and out here at the beautiful, beautiful Canton, Texas. Um, this is about an hour east of Dallas, and here we're at the Buffalo Girls Hotel. This is like Western lodging. It's very unique. I'll just show you real quick. I, uh, this is where I stayed once before. It's where I stayed again. It's a cool spot. I'll show you what it's like. So we have Cowboy Mike's General Store, which you can buy some, you know, confectionery, some odds and ends. Here we're walking on to the actual property. Here you can see, look at how this place is decorated. 
It is absolutely astounding. It looks like it is straight out of a Western movie. And all the rooms, you can see they are labeled. It's called the Oakley, it's called the Wild West. And they're all themed. Um, they're all slightly different. None of them are quite the same. And it continues as you go up here to like Frontier Town. I'm on the mountain and up here, there's like other little shops. See these little shops up there? And they also have bars and some other cool stuff on Fridays and Saturdays. So yeah, Buffalo Girls Hotel. It's a pretty, it's a cool spot, I gotta say. It's a, it's a hidden gem.